Hey guys, today is limited modified format Monday, and um, we're going to be talking about a deck that has been receiving uh, hype as possibly the best deck in format, and that is Metal. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have heard of Metal and have probably played it yourself or even tested it. Well, Metal is actually coming on to be probably one of the more prominent decks in format, and for a good reason. One of the few advantages of the metal type is actually its ability to prevent your Pokemon, your opponent's Pokemon from attacking altogether. Doggy X has an attack that basically prevents the Pokemon, defeating Pokemon EX from attacking during the next turn. Um, you have Cobalion, uh, the regular Cobalion from Legendary Treasures, who pretty much is pretty much prevents it altogether. <laughs> um, anyway, the um, the strategy is not particularly to deny your Pokemon opponent an attack. The strategy is to completely annihilate your opponent by over flooding your side of the field with with metal energy and providing some sort of um, counter to every single scenario you could come across. Now. Let's start with one of my favorite Pokemon, Aegislash. Now, Aegislash has a very amazing ability. It says, prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to it by your opponent's uh, Pokemon with any uh, special energy attached to it. And this is a amazing ability. Now, how would this really work? Well, cards like Seismitoad require double colorless if getting out in turn one. Uh, Evil Tall even requires double colorless to expand its attack even faster than normal. Um, you have plenty of other Pokemon uh, like Fighting, Psychic, um, Fairy, even other metal decks that do run special energy and it's usually that particular type but it's also got that added effect. Um, but yeah, I mean, Aegislash has a real amazing potential in format. Um, so I would be much on the lookout for um, what Aegislash can do as far as being able to prevent these Pokemon from really harming you. Its attack, however, is probably a little more deadly than its ability. And its attack is... For 3 energy, at least, it's 40 damage, and it is 20 more for each metal energy attached to it. So what does that mean? That pretty much means your bronzer, which I'll get to in a second, is going to help flood the metal energy onto a slash and get those knockouts. Now, generally speaking, you're going to be using this particular strategy against those decks who require the use of the special uh, energy cards. <clears throat> now your next Pokemon is going to be Cobalion EX. Cobalion EX is probably your solid starting attacking choice and why it's the highest count in the deck. Cobalion can, for one metal, do 30 damage and discard a special energy card attached to the fitting Pokemon. So yeah, it does not like special energy at all. It makes you wonder. But um, its second attack for 3 energy does 100 damage, and it's not affected by pretty much anything. <laughs> and um, yeah, that's pretty much all it is. The next Pokemon is Dialga EX. Dialga EX basically for 3 energy says, okay, defending Pokemon EX cannot attack next turn. Oh, and I'm doing 60 to you. That's that's crucial. That's harsh. Um, but its second attack is basically the reason why it's even in the deck. It's uh, your main go-to source late game for those one-hit shots. Um, Dialga EX for four meta or four energy <laughs> does um, 150 damage and uh, discard two energy attached to Dialga. So the um, Next Pokemon is Cobalion. 
Cobalion was a solid Pokemon back in the day. You often used with the Undaunted Electro Prime. I think it was uh, from that set. It might have been Triumphant. No, it was Triumphant. Electro Prime from the Triumphant set. And um, it was used as one of the basic Pokemon that receives the energy. Um, but that was probably um, one of the weaker decks back then. Uh, Cobalion also received a lot of hype whenever um, Cobalion EX first came out. Everyone was all hyped up about Cobalion EX as a Pokemon, period. And um, then um, you had the um, Clang Clang. That was also really good at the time. And nowadays, stage twos just aren't even that great. But when Bronzong came out, the special metal came out, Steel Shelter came out. Yeah, people jumped on metal in a heartbeat. <laughs> um, but anyway, that brings me to my, well, to my point. The Cobalion is probably one of your heavy attackers in the game. You run a lot of them for one reason. Its first attack for two energy does 20 damage plus 20 more for each energy attached to the defending Pokemon. With Muscle Band and help from maybe, I'm not going to say for sure, but maybe a laser. I highly doubt I'd run laser though. Um, but anyway, so you're facing Evil Tall and it's got two energy. That's an easy 80 damage. And if they can even knock you out, they're only taking one prize, so you can get a good exchange on them. The next attack for three energy is the reason why it succeeds. Basically for three energy, attack, and the defending Pokemon can attack. <laughs> so three energy, 80 damage, can attack. That is your main attack in the deck. And they're all fueled by one Pokemon, Bronzong. Bronzong is a stage 1 Pokemon that has a great ability, and it says that once during your turn before you attack, you take a metal energy from your discard pile and attach it when you bench metal Pokemon. That's solid right there. That's just absolutely solid. So, let's just say that uh, metal does have a lot of potential in this uh, format. Obviously, like I said, you have uh, you have Steel Shelter is a exclusive card that you're going to use. Um, <clears throat> you run a lot of Muscle Band. You run a, sometimes you can run Keldeo Float Stone because you know everybody else runs it, and you know everybody knows why they run it too. Um, but yeah. Pretty much, it's a, uh, it's like Secret of the Way and Magic the Gathering standard. Everybody runs it because it's basically one option or the other. And uh, I guess that's it. There's not really much to say on this deck. It's short, simple, and it's very sweet. The deck is amazing. I tried it out myself. Um, my particular. Uh, Standard way of playing it, aside from everybody else's, is probably the fact that I run Iris. Now, people are wondering why I even run Iris, and well, you pretty much have to to get some knockouts. <laughs> if you don't have a 4 energy Dialga up, yeah, you're gonna have to have a little bit of help. That extra 30, 40, 50 damage has to come from somewhere. And uh, trust me when I say I've had numerous times had to use Iris with a Cobalion EX and, um, to get that last prize. I, um, my opponent and I were both down the one card. I be a seeker for an Iris, played it down, muscle band and Cobalion, boom, 170. So yeah. <laughs> it's a uh, it's a little tech, but I mean metal types just aren't strong enough to hit one, to one shot everything. So a tech iris is probably was 
my one solution to every, uh, everything in that deck. Um, but again, it's my particular strategy and uh, the strategy overall is a great concept and I'm sure no one else is going to run Iris. So. But anyway, that's all I got for today. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe. Post any comments you have in the comment section down below. And as always, hope you guys had a great time as I've had. And I'll see you guys next time. Shifty's club. I see we gotta find somebody to do that with this broken arm.